ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಯನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಪಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋ ದಿವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘತಿ ಗಿರ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತ್ತಮಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾ ವೈ ತುಲಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋತ್ಪರಿಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೋಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನತ ಶರಣ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫೋರ್ಜಿತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸು ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಆಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜಭರೋ ಜುಗಧಾನ್ ಮುಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜಬರೋ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ 
भावानुरूपे न सदा नरानम गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तबाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मगापहारम वाराणसी पुरपति भजवी सनाथम वागीशजुषु भदने लक्ष्मीर्जस्व च भक्षसी जस्यास्त हृदय संवीर तम निशिंगम हम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बाचो बेगम मनस क्रोध बेगम जीवभा बेगम उदर पस्त बेगम एतान वेगान जो विषहेत धीर सर्वाम पीम पृथ्वी शशिषा बाच बेगम मनस क्रोध बेगम जीवभा बेगम उदर उपस्त बेगम एतान वेगान जो विषहेत धीर सर्वाम पीम पृथ्वी शशिषा गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट आत्मा आवर हार्ट आवर चित्त एंड आवर बॉडी इट इज ऑल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर आत्मा इज एक्चुअली चिन्ह माई is a transcendental level and man buddhi uh, intelligence mind everything is material gauri goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told that that what uh, 100% i can get mangal in that particular thing definitely i will be taking shelter on to that lotus feet I will do the Atma Nivedan onto the lotus feet. Onto the lotus feet of that, I will be doing Atma Nivedan. Those who are hundred percent, hundred percent, they can give me Mangal in their life, in my life. For on that lotus feet, I will be doing uh, the <coughs> uh, surrender. Why? Because that with Mano Dharma, just to uh, get. to to get her uh, release from the bondage that is the actual work of gurudev jeevas bonded jeevas are actually all busy in bond uh, sharir dharm in you just need to destroy his uh, uh, life just by taking him into more bondage that is actually jeev hinsa this is not the actual role of a guru in uh, any of the condition it is not at all good to do that particular thing the actual role of guru the first role is just the actual the mano dharma of shishya you just need to release him and get him out of that mano dharma what he has particularly if uh, in actual if you will be thinking the actual actual if you will be just uh, learning what is the actual uh, glorification of mantra that is the actual uh, description of the mantra that what mantra what gurudev has given to me in that mantra that there is actually power or not because if power is not at all there powerless person cannot uh, uh, give birth to any child in the same way that uh, those who are powerless guru he cannot uh, do in millions of uh, life also he cannot do mangal of his disciple but this all uh, these uh, material people bonded jeevas cannot understand at all they don't have any kind of idea regarding this so that's why here actually they are actually here and they are just uh, moving like madness this is not at all bhajan this is just foolishness this is madness or nothing <laughs> 
the disciples if you are actually not at all getting them away from mano dharma so what kind of guru he is maybe he can maybe disciple can be kapat so there one question is coming if the disciple is kapat then he hasn't why you haven't uh, taken his test while taking him as a disciple because guru bhakti mata was speaking that guru and disciple maybe there can be lot of uh, instructions at, uh, regarding that written shila sanatan goswami pad has just told in hari bhakti vilas as well but still in practical field if this kind of things nobody want to accept these things at all shila bhakti mata was speaking that's why today in uh, this uh, uh, material uh, people their their situation is like that our this uh, bhakti samaj this uh, sansar of bhakti this kind of uh, um, atmosphere is created who is the actual person responsible for it you tell me by the this meaning of the word mantra is this only but that mantra that uh, in the life of gurudev that uh, in the life of my gurudev that mantra is not at all sit that all that kind of mantra what kind of power he will give to us he will be giving me mantra what i will do with that it is all powerless so that's why this uh, kind of diksha in this kind of condition what is about diksha it is happening now bhakti no thakur speaking as it is this is who is actually responsible for all this situation who has done this kind of condition who has just uh, put it in this kind of situation very dangerous condition now so that mantra slowly steadily i am just taking that i am getting out of this mano dharma it means that uh, my mano dharma what i am following i am getting out of that that's why gayatri mantra is there and guru mantra is there guru gayatri is there गौर मंत्र इज देर गौर गायत्री इज देर काम की काम बीच काम गायत्री इज देर ऑल दिस मंत्र फॉर ईच एंड एफ ऑल दिस मंत्र आर गेटिंग यू आउट ऑफ द मटीरियल बॉन्डेज एंड मंत्र हैज सो मच पावर सो मच पावर इज देयर देन यू कैन नॉट इवन इमेजिन इन इन योर माइंड in in brahad bhagavat amra amrit granth shastra this kind of thing i was actually talking at last when i was lastly speaking i was just uh, bound to leave that discussion because kartik started and more problems are coming in my way what to do no shriyan sabhina whatever kind of good things you will do in good seva you will be do different different kind of problems will come in that that is actual rules maya devi this is actual rules of maya devi that is actual rules of kali what to do i definitely going to do that why i we will not allow him to do the seva let us see his extension we also have some power they are doing like that so whatever is the case the shlok which i have started with by my own will is actually is from shila roop ko swami pad shloka shila roop ko swami pad in upadesh amrit in that kind of top most in valuable upadesh in that uh, automatically first it is spoken there that uh, what is the actual role of an acharya that for a vaishnav what is the actual role that for a guru what is the actual symptom of a guru no actually no one is paying attention on this point those that do don't have any control over their vakya veg for those that they don't have any control over their manas veg they don't have control over krodh veg and they don't have control on their tongue on their mind and they don't have control on their tongue and on they don't have control on their stomach that they are actually characterless they are actually characterless just just sleep eat drink and sleep that just like cats and dogs their life is going on just like a beast their life is like that so that's why vashishth muni ji this actually writing this point aharita bhaye maitrunancho samanna meeta pasudi narana gano vishesho adhiko narana gane no hina pasubi sham for those they don't have uh, satya na sat uh, knowledge 
they don't have knowledge about what is sat and what is asat that they don't have any point of planning for what is prakriti and what is aprakriti so those eat sleep and drink this kind of conception they are following this formula for them their life what is the actual value of their life whether they will get lot of education lot of money is there lot of property is there what is the actual value of that nothing is there what is the value of that just like beast it is whatever you can do nothing will happen so that's why shila rup bas vai pad this shlok is already told by them by rup bas vai pad so all these sahajya people these are all sahajya people they are just staying here and they are in navadweep radha kund they are just shouting loudly raganu ka bhajan rupanu ka bhajan oh so nice they are doing ha huh? very nice beautiful just like monkeys they are doing foolish that their own sense organs they don't control can't control that and big big lectures they are speaking you do this you do that you will become gopi like this everything you can become huh? so easy and huh? foolish they are actually speaking that godiamat they are giving sanyas from where they are getting sanyas in godiamat they are actually speaking like this they are actually foolish people this is just like another kind of foolishness because they don't know that shila rup goswami pad has told the first shlok that is actual sanyas that is actual sanyas what rup goswami pad told the first shlok the those about sanyas vrat in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is written also that kind of sanyas what is actual purpose of that kind of sanyas if just by taking lot of pranami in the name of pranami or taking sanyas for what purpose the sanyas is taken what is actual role behind it mahaprabhu ji in bhagavad ji mahapuran vanch loka he has just told etam samastayo paratmanishta madhyasitam pruvatamer mahabir aham tarishwami durant param tamaha mukundangri nishiru to kya hua maksad what is our actual goal what is actual goal here मुकुंद दैट गुरुदेव ऑल दे यूज टू स्पीक मुकुंद द वर्ड एक्चुअल मुकुंद इज दैट हु इज जस्ट गिव प्रेम दोस हु डोनेट प्रेम दैट अपराकृत कामदेव मुकुंद हु इज गिविंग अ प्राकृत प्रेम टू अस दैट इज कॉल्ड मुकुंद जस्ट टू टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ मुकुंद लोटस फीट सो दिस लोटस फीट ऑफ मुकुंद if we are actually taking we are actually doing seva we are making the actual uh, uh, actual by sleeping eating going here there every time we are just thinking of doing seva of mukund all time that is the actual vrat this is the evolution for us to just do mukund vrat fasting for mukund all the time we are remembering his seva so this sanyas vrat about this this already told here in this by body speech and mind by body speech and mind we just need to serve the lotus feet of bhagwan all the time that prema mai seva of bhagwan in order to do that with full prema that is called sanyas all the time there is actually no gapping in that all the time it is when we are doing that that kind of uh, thing we have already uh, cemented that that three dandas and as what do you mean by that three means that three uh, sticks are there three three sticks means kaya man and vakya body speech and mind we are giving punishment to body speech and mind that uh, don't need to do any kind of material enjoyment at all just try to serve bhagwan we transcendental mukund by your body speech and mind all you have to just uh, get into get engaged in mukund govind seva that is called trilandi sanyas that three dand means to give punishment to body speech and mind and not to do any kind of material enjoyment and with all the time that prem my bhagwan 
you just need to serve him by body speech and mind that is the actual meaning but the persons actually are not at all thinking this uh, meaning whatever person is there who is taken sanyas he is also not understanding and the external person they are actually foolish they can't understand the meaning oh maharaj you just sit now uh, just giving pranami and just uh, watching his lotus feet who just go to hell everything go to water what to do this is the actual condition now you can't do anything so the this vacho veg this veg actually uh, to get control over your speech mental arch that mental arch mental urge sorry and impetus that vacho veg by speaking that you just need to take very nice nice prasadam that is a watch over this kind of all vague those persons who has uh, just uh, not get established in that haven't who can just control this that not forcibly they can control automatically it is just controlled just by speaking that they will control it means that forcibly you are controlling by just closing your eyes by just putting yourself in your teeth you are just forcibly uh, stopping yourself it's not like that this control is not at all there that should also be natural if when you are getting it naturally that uh, all our sense organs all everything will when it just uh, get control automatically then uh, it is it is possible to do prem mai bhajan then at that time sanyas vrat is success it means that sanyas vrat success means that we are actually doing as we are getting established in prem seva we can participate in prem seva all the time just by doing hari naam when inside our heart when inside our heart that kind of secret siddha swarup will get manifest inside our heart we can understand that then automatically raganuga bhajan at that at that uh, all question of raganuga bhajan can come iska pehle before that it is not at all possible but all the sahajiyas they are actually speaking that they can do that these people forcefully they are not at all understanding that before after that you just need to do that they can't understand this point they are not understanding the actual point behind this so that's why in this whole material world all actually uh, uh, instability is there all instability you can find in this whole material world very dangerous situation has just arisen raganuga bhajan rupanuga bhajan is actually so much uh, topmost in depth uh, vishay that even i am also feeling shy that in order to discuss this kind of vishay i am actually also thinking sometimes that uh, this so in depth vishay is there that slowly steadily i will be just opening in front of you why because there is intricacy that there is what philosophical uh, description is there that uh, my uh, voice is also not good but still i have already just introduced the starting so under the anugatya bhakti nu thakur i need to do this this seva so that you can understand a bit of things out of that so that's why i am just doing the um, my uh, work to so that you can understand it properly so all this kind of vague when it will just get controlled automatically not forcibly vacho veg krod veg then at that time what will happen that shila rup goswami was speaking at that time it can uh, do the work of guru but you in this material world can show me 
one person what is the actual situation now you see like when she, they are not at all understanding shila rup go swami pad's instruction when they are not at all following the instruction of shila sanatan go swami pad when they are not at all following the instruction of shila jeev go swami not at all following raghunath das go swami then who i am actually who will understand my point they actually are not understanding their go swami's points then hari bhakti vilas should go in water it should get a, Rasambri Sindhu should also go in fire. Bhabrat Bhagavatam also should go in. Everything should go in water. It's it's like that. Their conception is like they will not understand that. So this is the actual condition. Who will actually will tell whom and what? Nothing is there. Everything is empty. In our in our whole uh, samaj, there is no kind of binding is there. All actually are scattered. They are doing on their own. So what Prabhupada actually speaking? Prabhupada actually one time was speaking that at that day when of Shriman Gorang Mahaprabhu that kind of actual pathway that Sankirtan Yagyagani that continuous Sankirtan Yagyagani we will be able to stabilize and we will be uh, unable to protect that fire of Sankirtan Yagya that fire is actually going to uh, reduce that different kind of internal fighting that for material name fame position that kind of dust particles will just go inside our heart and it will be just bind inside our heart and everything will get destroyed in that everything will get destroyed and we will just get uh, give way away from bhajan we'll just be thrown away from bhajan we have to go so that is the actual condition this is the actual condition present situation now if Mahaprabhu Sankirtan Yagyagni, what is actually just firing in that if our whole life is actually just getting surrendered onto that then in that no case of fighting will come at all there will harm there will be harmony in that that they will be going God into that he will be going God into that he will be also doing different society he is also maintaining different society all actually all Gorangman Everything is going on. Everything is going on, Maharaj. So, like in this condition, we are actually feeling very shy that this kind of in-depth uh, analysis of Shastra, I can't speak in front of you. I am feeling shy. But in order to just give you a bit of guideline to you so that I can also get some mangal in that. Srila Pralad Maharaj Ji. Srila Pralad Maharaj Ji. Speaking to Nishinga Dev that the actual Udesha symptoms Udesha what is there in uh, Ubudesh Amrit Shri Larup Goswami Pad has just instructed us in there that Shri Larup Goswami Pad he has already written here that is a symptom of an Acharya why? because he already told himself this point those who are actually dhir, full of patience the, those people those that pressure is there of uh, to that urge to fulfill from inside that kind of uh, uh, calm, growth, everything if he is able to control all this who is able to control all this then in this whole material world he can just make them their disciple you understand the point what I am speaking otherwise they, even uh, not even they are eligible to make one disciple but still they are making thousands of disciples illegal uh, uh, birth uh, they are giving it to disciples those who are uh, uh, just like dogs and cats they are increasing the ratio like monkeys we don't have any kind of realization just eat sleep drink just fighting that's it just like this you go you can see it's actually all foolish even you will just spit on it so bad life it is so everything is going on like that what to do that uh, this whole world they will be making the disciple they all actually from every four corners actually they we have to spit on this condition just five lakh ten 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 lakh donation is coming he just just uh, putting it from that connection and just and you just kick him out from the temple so like this everything is going on there is you should feel shy for that Srila Vaman Goswami used to speak 
that our guru or everyone used to speak this that you all kind of normal ordinary vishay you are thinking and you are just making your life getting into destruction why why you are doing this what is the actual purpose of this what do you want from it what do you want in your life you tell me oh ho oh, oh, very bad shila pranad maharaj ji already told this point what he told that Very nice actually you see it's written here and in Chaitanya Ji Dhamrit also and that top most open in Bengali Mahaprabhu speaking Prabhupada also speaking this point that main fame position what actually you have left that whether you haven't left Kanak, no Kamini, neither position you have left all actually Kama going on in their name everything drama is going on that one role is going on someone actually taking the role of Ravan some actually in the role of Kumbhakaran <laughs> someone is actually in the role of Hiranyakishpu Hiranyaksha role someone is doing so everything is going like that everyone everything going in vain all kind of others achran etiquette everything what was shown actually all gone in water now in bhagavad ji mahapuran also in bhagavad ji mahapuran also bhagwan shri krishna is speaking to uddhav ji maharaj uddhav at that point you cannot uh, think that person as jitendriya up till that point his tongue the control over his tongue is not at all there he is, it is not under his control he should control his sense organs up till that point he you cannot speak him jitendriya and jitendriya means that who has just to get victory over the all the material wish it means that he is getting out of all the material wish it means that jitendriya is the basic thing jitendriya that bhav this this is minimally required that kindergarten if you are not at all jitendriya even bhajan you cannot start jitendriya means that you are out of the wish vishay vasana mur kabe tuchcha vishay chhariya kabe shuddha hobe mon kabe ha dherbo sibinda ye to that is this is just an ordinary thing it is i think so up till what point we are thinking that kind of material thinking inside our heart that automatically topmost that kind of desire that kind of greediness when it will go away that material desire when it will go away from our heart when it will go away and vishaya vasana mar when without the grip of nitanand prabhu that kind of material sense organs that material sense enjoyment that kind of desire this will never go away and about and in order to just leave material things who cannot get themselves pure and they cannot get themselves in the pure state then hari bhajan is not at all possible so where is your raganuga bhajan and where is your rupanuga bhajan who has shown that who has seen that who have shown that kind of bhajan even in his own life he has just got that ha name fame position everything he has just get lost from that prabhupad speaking this is actually just for position he has done for whole world he just want to destroy just want to get position of his own that's it 
फॉर हिम डेफिनेटली ही नीड टू सफर फॉर दैट डेफिनेटली ही नीड टू सफर एंड दोज हु आर फॉलोअर्स डेफिनेटली दे ऑल्सो नीड टू सफर दैट एवरी वन देर इज एक्चुअली नो वे आउट आउट ऑफ दैट नो वे आउट इवन स्लाइटेस्ट डेविएशन वॉट एवर लाउडली यू क्राई और वेदर यू कैन गेट लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड यू कैन ईट बट नथिंग विल हैपन डेफिनेटली यू नीड टू सफर दैट भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू उद्धव दैट जितेंद्रिय लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर देयर दैट आई एम जितेंद्रिय अरे जितेंद्रिय वेदर यू जस्ट शो दैट वेदर दैट काम आई इन साइड यू हैव जितेंद्रिय ऑफ दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी गेट विक्टोरियस ओवर योर काम वॉट इज देयर इन साइड योर हार्ट इन अमेरिका टू गर्ल्स दे हैव जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक मैरिज ऑन टू दैट बॉय एंड एंड ही स्पीकिंग दैट आई एम एक्चुअली डो कांट मेक मैरिज बिकॉज आई एम ब्रह्मचारी सो दैट नाउ एक्चुअली ही इज एक्चुअली योर डिसाइपल है यू मैरिज हर जस्ट लाइक दिस दैट सन्यासी स्पीकिंग ही इज अ गुरु ही इज गुरु स्पीकिंग दैट यू जस्ट मैरी अरे हाउ आई कैन मैरी दैट गर्ल यू नो दैट आई एम एम बाल ब्रह्मचारी आई कॉन्ट मैरी दैट गर्ल नो डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू डू सो ऑल एक्चुअली फाइटिंग गोज गोज ऑन एंड इन दैट वॉट विल हैपन लाइक भीष्म पितामा वॉट ही हैज डन he said that we just need to throw that kind of guru away bishwam pitama speaking that guru who don't know anything that what is good and what is not good what is dharma and what is adharma he don't have any kind of vichar in that that we just need to throw that kind of guru away but nowadays in this material world everything opposite is happening that guru that guru which is be showing the actual pathway you just need to throw that away that guru who is actually speaking all lie you just need to uh, glorify his uh, lotus feet <laughs> without glorifying his lotus feet nothing will happen uh, you do that only the, this is your work so when you will be showing the actual those who are showing the actual pathway just uh, speak bad about him and you just give a case on to him so like the all world is like that what to do Prabhupad actually speaking. After that, Raganu ka bhajan, Rukhano ka bhajan. There, the question will come of that. So, whatever be the case, so now Krishna speaking. That lot of people, they are speaking that they are Jitendriya. Already have got victory over their sense organs. Vishnu Vidhama also actually see, speaking. Don't so don't know anything about dharma and adharma. That kind of guru, you just need to throw him away. Bhagwan speaking. To Uddhav Ji Maharaj. That all other kind of sense organs that they you you have controlling over that. Okay. that on all the uh, sense organs you are getting control controlling over that but that on your tongue still you don't get any kind of controlling on your tongue still that kind of uh, uh, victory you haven't got up till now your tongue you just need to take nice nice prasadam and just by uh, shutting up your eyes those people who are actually very greedy of eating 100% be sure that they are actually fallen they it cannot be possible he definitely he will get into fallen condition one balti rasgulla or then two balti khichdi he will take two bucket so this <laughs> if i'm just hearing i am just becoming mad just by hearing this i already heard this that one person is eating that he is eating too much so how i can he can work as a uh, guru how he can work as a uh, role of guru an acharya how he can work that out he can't play the role of an acharya mitab ho after that and all this kind of gunavali characteristics that uh, all kind of jo bhi hai whatever is there jiva that the tongue who hasn't got victory over tongue up till that point he we cannot speak him jitendriya jitendriya if he is not there that who is actually so greedy of eating definitely he will definitely be characterless 
it is linked with it it has a link those who are greedy of eating no definitely his character will also be very bad very bad character he will be having definitely it will be there and uh, or otherwise it cannot be done rup goswami pad speaking is not at all uh, cannot be wrong i have already seen that that in his house that he has just made his go down of just eating whole room he has just made a go down of all fruits now he is eating banana now he is eating some other fruit oh my god so what whole whole house is just like a go down in all four directions is eating and eating food now he is eating this now he is eating that so what to do so what kind of bhajan they will do they have come to do bhajan bhagwan huh? bhagwan definitely will just uh, kick them out of bhajan if in their life that one time that krishna has given them the opportunity some golden opportunity they have given us then we just need to uh, pro- in order to protect him otherwise this golden opportunity is very much rare for him that's why that opportunity is there so this this has gone completely away now this is the actual condition what to do tabak jitendriyo no shat vijitan vijitan anandriyo puman tabak jitendriyo no shat vijita anandriyo puman no jayad rasam javat jitam sarvam jite rase e hai so this is asriva this is the actual point jitam sarvam when there is no rasana after that we have understood that maharaj that someone actually used to stay with you that kind of uh, in a very uh, uh, dirty house and after that he is speaking that maharaj i have already seen that he has just gone to a very dirty house okay let him go what to do definitely he is already destroyed his life so what to do for me i don't have any kind of uh, uh, grudge with anyone and no enmity with anyone i don't have any time what kind of enmity will be there jo bhi hai so whatever be the case ragatmika bhakti so in order to understand that lot of uh, desire is there to understand it but i we have very less capacity to understand shila bhakti vana thakur anugatya under the anugatya of guru varga lot of things are there we the in jayav dharma in chaitanya shiksha amrit lot of things top most secret treasure is there and that's why our, our param pooja pad keshav goswami maharaj that by his own desire that he has just divided and categorized jayav dharma into two parts so that this rasatat so that this rasatat this sahajya all for rubbish foolish people they are just like kathail in the echore paka in when what is in hindi echore means that that jack fruit is there that when you are just uh, we are speaking kathal jack jack fruit we are cutting it uh, forcefully it's not his uh, this is not the situation to eat it in a it is very unripe but just by uh, uh, crushing it and just in the sunshine you are just crushing it crushing it and then uh, you are now carbide is actually used so in order to get it into ripe position and in the you can see oh, each and every fruit is uh, in an unripe position and they are actually ripened by carbide so that fruit actually which is made of carbide is very dangerous for our health it definitely gonna be very dangerous so that's why kesha avar keshav goswami were speaking in jav dharma he has categorized into two parts one is rasatatva rasatatva should not uh, should not go to a, a normal person who are those are foolish number one that's why they don't need to read it Uh, that's why he keshav go swami maharaj has just categorized it so that this cannot go to the hands of sahaji and what is our vichar what is our vichar opposite vichar that they have opposite vichar that we should go ujwal nilmani oh okay then you become gopi foolish number 1 foolish acharya are keshav go swami maharaj speaking that which who 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 will uh, who will you understand keshav go swami maharaj that false guru keshav go swami maharaj speaking that in this written form it's written i have this in written form what keshav goswami is speaking that my gurudev 
भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती जगत गुरु शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपा दैट हिज टॉप मोस्ट स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इन दैट ओनली आई इन जस्ट नीड टू देर इज नो काइंड ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इन दैट परम पूज्य केशव गोस्वामी मेरा स्पीकिंग दैट नो वन मे बी सम वन कैन गेट द एलिजिबिलिटी बट आई डोंट हैव द एलिजिबिलिटी दैट इज झूलन एटसेट्रा ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ फेस्टिवल दैट जस्ट कलरफुल फेस्टिवल दिस काइंड ऑफ आई डोंट हैव एनी एलिजिबिलिटी टू डू मे बी दे कैन हैव दैट मे बट माई गुरुदेव हैव माई गुरुदेव हैजेंट हैजेंट श्रीधर गोस्वामी मैं स्पीकिंग माई गुरुदेव हैजेंट ब्रोक द स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ द शास्त्र समवन एक्चुअली इज डूइंग चूलन एंड सेक्ट्रा उत्सव बट आई दिस काइंड ऑफ एलिजिबिलिटी आई डोंट हैव बिकॉज माई गुरुदेव हैज नॉट डन दैट श्रीधर गोस्वामी मैं स्पीकिंग एवरी थिंग इज रिटर्न इन द डॉक्यूमेंट्स आई हैव ईच एंड एवरी रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट्स एवरी थिंग सॉफ्ट कॉपी आई हैव विद मी आई कैन शो यू दैट्स वाई देर इज नो अदर पैथ वे शीला भक्ति नो ठाकुर इन जीवानुगत इन जैव धर्म एंड इन शिक्षा अमृत लॉट ऑफ रागानुगा रूपानुगा कामानुगा एवरी वॉट आर एक्चुअली न्यूट्रिशन फॉर भक्ति भक्ति ठाकुर ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर इज द केस भक्तिनो ठाकुर द एक्चुअल डिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट गिव कमेंट्री गिवन बाय भक्तिनो ठाकुर भक्तिनो ठाकुर इज विद सो मच नॉर्मल डिस्क्रिप्शन ही यूज टू गिव दैट इट विल जस्ट गिव अस अ वेरी सरप्राइजिंग एंड अमेजिंग फीलिंग नाउ टुडे ऑल्सो भक्तिनो ठाकुर इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी इट्स ऑलरेडी मोर देन हंड्रेड ईयर्स भक्तिनो ठाकुर हैज लेफ्ट हिज बॉडी but still today shila sachidanand bhakti no thakur that english if you will just hear that commentary then we will think that it's like it's a modern english very easy english it's like any modern english so much easy so beautifully he has written the commentary and the sanskrit as well so so straight forward sanskrit he has written so much exact representation he has made and so much bright representation he has made that by which we what what kind of uh, uh, intelligence we have maybe definitely we can understand something what he has written bhakti no thakur the actual uh, uh, descriptive way what bhakti no thakur has written whether it's kirtan whether it's writing whatever be it it be bhakti no thakur already told this that that shri rag padma chandrika rag varma chandrika shri rupanuga whatever in order to understand these topics first what you need to do you need to you need to take the instructions of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that exact pathway that exact information you should know not that that wrong information should come to you about the instructions of goran mahaprabhu that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu what he want to tell us It means that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu want to just show us this thing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has just want to show that the Rag Bhar Me Chandra it is not new at all. This is not a new thing. Shri Man Mahaprabhu is the actual pathway. It is actually shown by us. But in those who want to exactly follow that, who are there? That is the main vital question coming here. Shila Bhakti No Thakur speaking. Shri Man Mahaprabhu, the Shiksha Pranali. If in order to you want to understand that, then we people, if someone wants to understand, then Shri Chetanya Chetamrit. That Shri Chetanya Bhagwat that sector we just need to discuss that it's very much important. Shri Man Mahaprabhu ji, from his own he hasn't written any kind of book on his own. Shri Man Mahaprabhu is swam has not written uh, his own book. We don't have any kind of information regarding this. Maybe someone is speaking that Mahaprabhu has written this, this, and this. Yes, maybe before one logic on logical in argumentative uh, some uh, to what's his name about that one uh, book he has written. 
बट ही जस्ट डम्प्ड डम्प्ड बुक इन वाटर श्रीमन महाप्रभु जी दैट एट काइंड ऑफ द श्लोका विच ही हैज गिवन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट शिक्षाष्टकम विच विच इज देयर इन शिक्षाष्टकम दैट ऑल्सो भक्ति में ठाकुर जी स्पीकिंग दैट दिस ऑल काइंड ऑफ शिक्षाष्टकम वॉट वी कैन सी दैट इन शिक्षा अष्टकम दैट वॉट इज द हिडन फॉर्म इज देयर the hidden thing hidden meaning is there in the shiksha ashtakam the kind of secret hidden uh, hidden treasure is there if someone wants to expand that then if not is already expanded it's not that it's not expanded that what the all goswami jan has written all volumes of books written by our shri shad goswami our seventh goswami also it is the exact explanation of that shiksha ashtakam that is the exact explanation to the point explanation of what the commentary written by the goswamis like the case in shri mad bhagwat ji mahapuran is there shri mad bhagwat ji mahapuran before that uh, it is come in the form of chatur shloki bhagwat in in the form of chatur shloki bhagwat in front of us it just get manifested in front of us in form of chatur shloki bhagwat and after that thakur ji ka kripa by the kripa of krishna krishna ek chatur mukh hai krishna sevan ji krishna ek chatur mukh hai krishna sevan mukh brahma ek narodera muti narodo hoyte bas muttu kai basad purna bhag padnagam nihari madhavam se akshama param aisa karke so like this this it has come in the form of this according to the parampara according to the bhagavat parampara and guru parampara there is no other thing is there mantra parampara mantra parampara must be mantra parampara must be with line of bhagavat parampara otherwise that bhagavat that mantra parampara you just need to throw away you just need to throw it away that you just need to throw it away in dustbin that mantra parampara there it is of no use it's useless you just need to throw that away why because mantra in mantra parampara and that bhagavat parampara that kind of vishesh is not at all there then what is the use of that mantra parampara it means that that bhagavat parampara what is there according to that bhagavat dharma uh, it means that our uh, transcendental uh, shiksha pranali it is actually the protection of that only by mantra parampara without any realization it means that without any bhagavat parampara without any bhagavat parampara our success is not at all there chances of success is very less so it means that mantra parampara must be param bhagavat parampara mantra parampara must be bhagavat parampara but that doesn't but that doesn't mean bhagavat parampara must be mantra that doesn't mean i was one you can understand the point i am speaking mantra parampara mantra parampara can be bar bhagavat parampara it must be there our what the mantra we are getting it is coming from the lineage that kind of bhagavat bhav that kind of uh, instructions uh, should be there but but bhagavat parampara have having bhagavat parampara then mantra parampara should be there it is must then this is not good this kind of vichar is not at all good why because bhagavat parampara whether mantra parampara is there bhagavat parampara is there in each and every one that bhagavat dharma that bhagavat bhav that bhagwan that actual instructions of bhagwan with uh, actual in intact way it should come to us that kind of possibility is there that's why you can see jesus christ ka parampara nahi hota that jesus uh, jesus jesus christ don't have any parampara mohammed don't have any parampara buddha also have don't have any kind of exact parampara there there is no parampara for them why because there is no person in this world that exactly what jesus christ is speaking intact he is actually giving to us 
but nowadays also we are actually in loudly can i can speak in front of them that our guru varg almost everyone has gone away but still but maybe some one person will be there who has just taken the act by mid via the medium of that instructions of gurudev he want to represent that definitely will be there maybe one or two persons will be there because this is actually actual uh, the prabhupada has just uh, told promised us that bhakti vinod dhara cannot uh, will get vanquished or disting uh, di- disappear bhakti vinod dhara will never disappear at all so still i have this kind of desire that to get to get the exact teaching of chaitanya mahaprabhu maybe someone will be there in this whole world if it is not there someone will be there definitely i am actually blind but i can't see but definitely one person will be there our guru varg has just told this kind of vichar to us that that someone he has he has just uh, uh, speaking in front of jagannath and he is just with a disrespectful mood he is speaking to jagannath that how what kind of disrespect he has done not directly he is disrespecting jagannath but because there will be some kind of uh, because he is a mayavadi he will just get arrested and that's why he just he is not kind of he is speaking indirectly about jagannath reporting against jagannath just by turning all the things and he is speaking that you see today this our situation is in that whatever is vaishn every vaishnav is gone no vaishnav is there to whom i can go and i can just get the instructions of bhagavatam everyone is gone so it means that what does it mean that uh, indirectly he is want to speak he indirectly he want to speak he is actually reporting to jagannath that you are so weak you are such a useless you are so much useless jagannath you are so much fallen that you don't have this kind of uh, thing capability that one to two sadhu you can just uh, uh, stay in this material world so that they can target the actual instruction of gorang mahaprabhu he just want to target this point only he just actually want to turn this point and want to speak that uh, jagannath has no hand no legs he is as a useless personality he is of no use <laughs> and that jagannath who is of no use why actually i am uh, what i will do by doing the bhajan of that jagannath maybe one or two sadhu he can't keep in this material world ki oh you just show them the actual path that is called mayavadi this our in our godiamat also in in godi society also lot of mayavadis are there not even one lot of mayavadis are there they are actually a um, uh, circus of maya, maya mayavadis is sleeping eating thinking all actually are mayavadi that they don't have any kind of relationship with godiamat and and uh, was not there and still will not be there at all actually all destruction everyone is just there to just destroy everything in our life target is that to get kamanuga bhakti that uh, rag bharag bhakti apart from that we don't have any kind of other target but still what is the actual procedure how we have to do in that case shriman mahaprabhu ji the actual uh, he actually is written in sikshashtakam in that each and every hidden treasure secrecy of uh, uh, secrecy of the treasure is actually written of the rag bhajan everything is written there bhakti mundo kare bhakti mundo that apart from that maybe two to one books koi koi aadmi some persons are actually speaking like this that by prabhu actually it is just written by mahaprabhu now actually this kind of thing is there in the um, society in this material world that nautan das thakur some duplicate duplicacy has just came out hmm. and she vindavan das thakur some duplicacy has came out all actually uh, writing all rubbish siddhant in the name of them maybe but vindavan das thakur has that though they don't have any kind of link with their uh, family also with their lineage of family but some can someone can think differently so what is the case you can't 
thing i already told you yesterday also that may be some so called devotee he actually he has taken this books of rupapad vishnu chakravarti pad at that time that book was written at the time of vishnu chakravarti pad this goswami granth he has just read and he just take the decision that rupanu bhajan just in order to do that we need to take the shelter of shrimati radharani's lotus feet lalita vishakha rupa manjari all we just need to do the anugatya of them we then not even have to think of the sanatan goswami par rupa goswami par sarabhunath das goswami they rai ramanand we don't need to follow them are direct you have to follow no directly you have to follow that is more practical you just uh, open your eyes open your mind all the people you are just uh, putting them in destruction that's it saurama so vishnu chakravarti pad speaking how actually what kind of mind they are having all actually radharani don't used to do a kadashi dalita vishaka etc all what they are actually we just need to follow that only that is good that rup goswami pad what he will do huh? <laughs> Directly we have to follow them. That's very good pathway, no? Foolish. We don't need to do a kadashi, all breath. We don't need to do. We all actually just take prasadam. That's it. Sleep. That's that is our life. That is Raghavan Bhagavan. This is our conception. What to do? Very bad. This is our actual conception. Bhakti no Thakur actually speaking. That uh, may be some very small book. Mahaprabhu, which by which Mahaprabhu has written, some persons actually are speaking that this book is written by Mahaprabhu. But Bhakti Vinod Thakur is speaking that there is no authenticity regarding what Mahaprabhu has written. Bhakti Vinod Thakur ji has told that we are actually making a lot of vichar, in-depth vichar, and we have just came onto the conclusion of this siddhan that this all books has. it is not at all written by mahaprabhu and this actually just been uh, told like that that it is written by mahaprabhu but it's not like that and the goswamis mahodegan those who have written all these books in that shriman mahaprabhu's achar achar achran shiksha siddhant all kind of things are automatically there but mahaprabhu that he hasn't spoken that i have written this book mahaprabhu hasn't told all those ko swamis hasn't written there in any way that i have written this book that which is uh, which is written by me what do you mean by what mahaprabhu wants to speak that he has that with full virah bhav and we pralamb ras before you just he just want to teach us about uh, how to do preaching and after that in the last khand even for us eating and sleeping also we don't have time all the time he is actually in the ocean of prema virhe and bhakti mata ko speaking that in chaitanya chitamrit that is the authentic book that is the uh, top most uh, authentic book in that there is actually no uh, doubt about that prabhu ka charitra the actual character of prabhu that all siddhant and upadesh that all those goswami guns the actual writings of them in that in the uh, top most uh, it is already written there about this that's why shri chaitanya chitamrit has so much importance it's having if 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 we'll speak the actual thing then shri chaitanya chitamrit inside that that raganu ka bhajan rupanu ka bhajan about that that kind of in depth vichar it's uh, topmost it's to, topmost it, it is the topmost vichar it means that inside this only that all kinds of raganu ka rupanu ka bhajan that topmost not uh, even very less topmost vichar is there but that is so much in depth that so much depth is there that in order to follow that it is persons are very less to follow and those persons who need to follow that that is all very very less kushala shalamta 
that uh, his uh, hearing about these instruction are also very less and to who will take these instruction they are also very less to so some person so if some person is there it is very difficult to find krishna kaviraj goswami is actually speak about mahaprabhu krishna kaviraj goswami is uh, talking about mahaprabhu after just mahaprabhu when mahaprabhu after exactly he just came manifested his lila in this material world vrindavan das thakur after that krishna das kaviraj goswami came after vrindavan das thakur what he has done that that in chaitanya jis chaitanya charitamrit is actually manifested in front of us that is the actual uh, topmost uh, vital granth of our rag mark important that is a top most important uh, granth of our rag mark in that that each and every bhav of mahaprabhu which are etiquette exactly in toto it is written there in shri chaitanya charitamrit in that that rai mahashay and mahaprabhu's about that uh, rai mahashay and mahaprabhu's uh, discussion that top most deep discussion on rasatatva is actually described but here in order to just get into that jump into that and after that sanatan goswami pad actually speaking to uh, mahaprabhu and sanatan rup goswami pad actually just uh, having discussion with mahaprabhu gurudev always used to speak that those persons who are there in this uh, coming in this body of bhajan if they if they don't know that uh, what is sanatan shiksha and what is rup shiksha they don't know anything about this then they are not at all godia vishnu they don't know those who don't know about this three points one is sanatan shiksha one is rupa shiksha and another one is rai ramanand sambad it's look it looks like that it is the top most valuable valuable pillar top most costly pillar that if on this whole pillar that our godia majan is fixed is stand still on that pillar if no one will be understanding then he is not at all they are established in godia mat he just need to throw throw them out maya devi maya devi he is there in the jumping in the ocean of maya devi maybe he can understand it and come back so that's why in chaitanya ji tamrit has so much respect and so much importance it has had so much respect it has why because after mahaprabhu disappearance after mahaprabhu's disappearance when that when mahaprabhu actually just disappeared from this material world that what kind of association they have done with mahaprabhu that direct kind of association what they have done with mahaprabhu Das Goswami Shila Rup Goswami this actually is there they Kaviraj Goswami that Shri Chaitanya Chaitamrit has to manifest that has just help them to discover Chaitanya Chaitamrit and before that Kavi Karanpur Chaitanya Chaitan Chandra Dev Natak and Vrindavan Das Thakur Chaitanya Bhagavat uh, has been made after the previous name was chaitanya mangal and chaitanya mangal were actually two books were there that's why the, it is changed to chaitanya bhagavat before it was chaitanya mangal only the book name written by vrindavan das thakur so lot of things are there chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya chaitamrit so by this always they have just uh, uh, helped it and that that's why mahaprabhu speaking that uh, the actual uh, instructions of the mahaprabhu in order to understand that completely that we have to understand chaitanya charitamrit as the topmost uh, uh, samadhan of all because apart from this no pathway is open for us to just get out of this material bondage shriman mahaprabhu in the, at 24 years of age he was in uh, grahastha dharma and, uh, and at that time uh, in navadvip what kind of leela he has manifested at that time uh, at shrivas angan that that chatuspati each and every way here and there of navadvip he has done naam sankirtan everywhere and has preached that naam sankirtan and what is the most vital thing here that he has just uh, uh, presented in front of us up till this point also the pravachan what he has told the actual siddhant he has established in front of us kimba jagurone aur vishnu 
This Mahaprabhu has established in front of us. Harinam Mahatva Hari Kirtan, the actual importance of Hari Kirtan, that is of utmost importance. That is the utmost importance in our life. After that, after that, when Mahaprabhu was there in Sri Vasangan, in Acharya Bhavan, he has done lot of Leela he has just manifested. By that, we can understand that those who want to understand it completely means that those who are devotees, they can understand it. Though all the devotees can understand. Shri Vas Pandit also can understand. Gadadhar Pandit also can understand. Adhyat Kosai can understand. Everyone, each and everyone can understand that this Prabhu, that kind of behavior, what Prabhu is manifesting, what Acharan is manifesting, in that, what is the actual thing, what is the actual mystery behind that? What is the actual mystery behind that? Sankirtan Yagya he has done in uh, Sri Vasangan and whole night he is doing Sankirtan Mahaprabhu. This is this is called Sankirtan Ras. Like the case, Bhagwan Govind is actually taking Gopikas, has done Ras Leela and he and now also Bhagwan is doing. It's eternal Leela. So all the time Bhagwan is doing Leela with Gopikas. It is Nitya Leela. That's also Mahaprabhu in the same manner that Sankirtan Ras, that is also Sankirtan Ras that Mahaprabhu used to do. All the time he is doing. This is also eternal. So by at the age of 24 when he was staying at home, when he just came back from home, when Mahaprabhu came back from Gaya, the Baha which he manifested in front of us, that is actually topmost secret secrecy in front of us. Why, why Mahaprabhu has done like this? Why after he is coming back from Gaya, he is manifesting this kind of bhav in front of us? What is the actual reason? So in this, all kind of uh, Mahaprabhu has just want to teach us this point. That's why our Parampuji Vashira Siridhar Goswami and our Guru Varg used to speak and Prabhupada always used to speak. That Gaur Avatar. Everything is just manifested in front of us. Each and everything is just operated in front of us. Each and every nerve is being, single nerve has been operated in front of us. And you just told that you see what is there. And everything we can get. But that Adhikari should be there. He should be eligible to get that particular thing. That Adhikar. Here it is written, Bhakti Thakur is writing this point. If you don't have Adhikar, then how you can get that Siddha Deha, Siddha body? In that, Prabhupada always used to speak in regarding this point. Sadhan and Siddha Bhumika, definitely confusion or vivarth will definitely will come. The Jeev will become Sak Prakrit Sahajiya by that. Prabhupada used to speak this point in front of us. Now actually he is in Sadhan stage and he is thinking himself Siddha. In this condition, that is, there is total confusion and total destruction can come. Vivarjai means total destruction can come. That's why Prabhupada is speaking that Sadhan and Siddhi in that platform, if someone actually some vivarja, some confusion is created that vivarta, that confusion comes at that point the jeev can become prakrit sahajiya this can be done so this is the problem we need to rectify so that's why bhakti Thakur in bhajan rahasya has uh, put a lot of points in front of us that is according to raganuva rupanuva bhajan only here bhakti Thakur speaking Without Adhikar, it means without Adhikar, without Adhikar, you haven't got that eligibility to get that Adhikar, but whatever you have taken, that your Siddha Deha, just understand your Siddha Deha, and when, at, at what point you will be getting recognized inside your heart. You will just be taking that Siddha Deha inside your heart and when you will be understanding that it is, it is authentic, 
about that lot of things are described here adhikar na lobiya siddho deva bhabe biparjay buddhi upaje shakti abha biparjay mane biparjay means that to- totally that it will destroy everything abhi bhi now also if you go you can see that at the bank of ganga at navadweep they are they are just having one bangles in their hand and so they are actually just wearing sarees the men are becoming gopis and in gambira also i just came in north bengal in gambila i just went there and there i also saw i was just surprised to see that what they are wearing are they i have seen one person is in the form of gopikas just with bangles and all sari and just lipstick he has just applied how it is possible i was amazed and surprised to see this thing prabhupad actually speaking that those sahajiyas people those sahajiyas people those sahajiya people by this means they are actually uh, maintaining their their body they are imagining this inside their heart about this they are imagining just imagination is created by their mental concocted ideas regarding this that they are gopis that he is actually male externally and with that gopi internally he is actually just making association and he is just feeling uh, material happiness ah very so much glorification is there this baba ji what he has done he has done this He has. He just need to do that. And what imaginated, concocted, mentally idea? What he Gopi ka he has done. He will associate with that male body, and he is just associating. Oh my God! You see the that is called Raganu ka bhajan, Rupanu ka bhajan. You see. That's why. What is in favor of Rupanu ka bhajan? What is just opposite? What is neutral? All we should know. All in details. भक्ति अनुकूल मात्र कार्य स्वीकार भक्ति प्रतिकूल कार्य वर्जन अंगीकार अनुकूल प्रतिकूल अनुकूल एंड प्रतिकूल दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इफ इट इज नॉट देयर इनसाइड समवन देन डेफिनेटली ही कांट डू भजन एट ऑल सो दिस अनुकूल एंड प्रतिकूल एंड अनुकूल इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर मे बी प्रतिकूल इज ही इज न्यूट्रल बट दिस ऑल थ्री थिंग्स विष्णु चक्रवर्ती पाद एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग हियर बट if we will we will be just started speaking about this then you will be feeling very bored about the siddhant vichar value what i am talking that's why that with very uh, disc, uh, briefly i am actually explaining what bhakti vinod thakur speaking what shridhar maharaj speaking what keshav goswami maharaj speaking from all four directions i am just giving one tasteful explanation in front of you then only you will like that and you will understand that there is a very topmost vishay this is this is so much uh, in depth uh, vishay that vichar is there that if their situation is like that then only he can understand that so whatever be the case mahaprabhu ji agar 24 saal tak at the age of 24 he was there at age of 24 at that time also in shriva sangan at uh, ganga that that in vidyalay in gurukul at the each and every pathway he used to do all the glorification of hari naam and hari katha right from the beginning mahaprabhu always used to do at the time of abhirbhav also he used to just preach hari naam there all the time this this our all mothers are there when they saw that they are actually speaking hey speaking gor hari then only mahaprabhu used to stop crying so that they can understand now all these people that mahaprabhu that's just by speaking hari naam mahaprabhu will just just stop crying so it means that from the avirbhav leela till the disappearance day tirubhav leela all the actual importance of hari naam sankirtan how to do naam sankirtan and how to associate with due to devotees and how to just get drowned in hari naam ocean of hari naam kimba jagorane ahar nisha chinta krishna bala ho कृष्ण 
दिस ऑल एक्चुअली टोल्ड बाय महाप्रभु सो आफ्टर दैट एट वेन ही जस्ट रिटर्न बैक फ्रॉम गया दैट वॉट एवर ही हेज मैनिफेस्टेड वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रेमा महाप्रभु इज मैनिफेस्टेड एंड फ्रॉम दैट टाइम स्पेशल भाव एक्चुअली हैज बीन मैनिफेस्टेड बिफोर दैट ऑल्सो इज मैनिफेस्टेड बट नाउ दैट काइंड ऑफ स्पेशल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ भाव ही हैज डन दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन डिवोटिस इन हिज ओन डिवोटिस दैट एक्चुअल इन डेप्थ भाव ऑफ हिज भजन इन ऑर्डर टू टीच टू द डिवोटिस महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट डन दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसिडेंटल लीला इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस After that, after that taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu actually just uh, going to Puri, and there after that, after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu just went to has taken shelter of Nila Chal Puri, and while at staying in Nila Chal Dham, that kind of topmost uh, prem vikar he has just manifested in front of us. That Sila Sachidanand Bhakti Nand Thakur has just uh, instructed us regarding this. That you see. That we pralam bhakhetra, that is the topmost peak, is Nila Chal Dham. That Nila Chal is topmost peak of we pralam bhakhetra. In the sadhan bhumi ka, for Nila Chal, we Nila Chal Dham is actually vacant. You know this point or not? Nila Chal Dham in actually is called vacant. In the shastras it is written, but Shri but Shri Chetanya Mahaprabhu. has has just manifested his leela there eternal leela and because of that by this vichar you can understand that we have makti mata guru instructed us that when mahaprabhu has just uh, uh, exhibited that bhav that is 100% correct it means that in nila chal dham that braj madhuri in nila chal that braj madhuri is there that mahaprabhu has just uh, manifested in front of us That Nila Chal yeah, Samundar he is actually thinking as Yamuna, and Chatak Parvat he is thinking as uh, Kovardhan Ji Giri Raj Maharaj, and Jagannath at the time of darshan of Jagannath, at the time of darshan of Jagannath, that uh, Radha Linga the Vikraha, that Nanda Nanda Krishna he is thinking at the time of Rath Yatra also. when jagannath is going to uh, gambhira to gundicha and from all the four direction all the four coconut trees and whatever uh, green grass and green trees are there mahaprabhu always used to think it in down i tota he is thinking as where where actually jagannath balla udan used to do mahaprabhu is actually thinking of vrindavan only all the time that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking that kambira temple inside that inside that kambira temple mahaprabhu ji has just manifested a very surprising leela all the time day and night he's just crying this kind of vichar what is there That is uh, they are actually manifested in Rag Varma Chandrika. What is that? The other philosophy you will be discussing of this whole material world. That is Rag Varma Chandrika. That Vishnu Chakravarti Bhat just want to speak this point only in very brief condition. So we just need to elaborate that. So otherwise you will feel very bored in order to understand this Rag Varma Chandrika. Bhaktivinoda Bhakti Thakur, Bhakti Thakur ji also speaking that maybe the vichar is like that. That Vrindavan Dham is a prakriti, a prakriti pralam bhav is there. This is actually hundred percent correct. This what this uh, this thing is not at all incorrect. But still, Nila Chal Dham is called the topmost rasa peet, vipralam khetr. This Nila Chal Dham actually is called the topmost for Gaudias, for those who are doing Gaudiya bhajan. That is called the topmost rasa peet. that is the topmost rasa peet why because there mahaprabhu has just what kind of bhav he has manifested there that radha govind leela this kind of bhav is not at all you can see that this is not at all possible to see that who don't have seen this kind of bhav you haven't heard this kind of bhav mahaprabhu has just manifested that kind of bhav there और नवदीप धाम 
and in Navadvip Dham also, this that is also Vipralam Bhav only, because Mahaprabhu, in, he has just left Navadvip, and all the devotees day and night they were crying, even fraction of second. They are actually just uh, uh, getting uh, uh, in the fire of separation. They are burning themselves. Oh, what to do? When ma- when we will be going to Mahaprabhu? Are in whole year, when we will go to Mahaprabhu? And they were just counting, counting, counting days. And the, the day has finally come. Okay, let's go. The Chaturmas is coming and Prabhu actually asking us to come. And everyone actually speaking Hari Bol, Hari Bol and just moving from Navadev towards Nilachal. So this is this is not at all Raganuga Bhajan you are thinking. Huh? This is not at all Raganuga Bhajan. That the Jagannath Mishra actually manifesting this kind of bhav. That is actually this is spontaneous. This is Raganuga Bhav. That is spontaneous bhav, no? So there after they were actually just crying to us go there to Mahaprabhu. When they will go. So this this Navadvip Dham is there. If you are actually having actual vichar, that is actually Vipralam only. Here also Vipralam is there. That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur actually has just written one book that a lot of Mahajans also have given a lot of books. In Kharcha also they have written, Govind Das, all these kind of Kharcha and books they have written. Lochan Das, all they have written. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur also had is written. That in Mahajan Padavari it is written. Those who has written, Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written this. That uh, Govindas or uh, what's his name, I can't But we used to do Kirtan. That we used to do kirtan, very nice Kirtan of this. Very sweet Kirtan they are. Lot of very nice kirtan it is. And a lot of kirtans are also there like that. This kirtan it is actually usually this our Gaudiya society all the time they used to do it lot of very less they are doing now nobody knows about these kirtans they don't know about this kirtan very less people know about this kirtan that they know about this kirtan sachi mata is actually in the separation of nimai she is becoming mad and this is her condition just the death Death is the and his death and his life in between that phase. She is actually going. There is one fighting going on. Whether I will stay or either I will die. And in this condition only that our Sachi Mata sometimes he in dream that she used to see Gorang at that time. She used to see Gorang and after that seeing Gorang automatically with Malini. He, her friend is there Malini she used to discuss in the morning, morning time she will definitely gonna speak to Malini about the dream that Malini today Nimai has just came to me today and he was just sitting beside me and he is speaking that oh mother she is, he is speaking like me to me and lot of Kirtan are there if you will just hear you will just become mad so much Anand is there but who who is there to hear all this and who is here to speak also that person is also required so much actually all money position name fame is there that so much infinity money infinity treasure is there that our god in our godiamat is there but still we are how like foolish people we are moving towards other things like mad so much treasure is there infinity treasure is there for infinity period you can take but still you it will not get finished up till this portion that mayavadi people also that Akhand, akhandanand university also there that uh, principal is there he is actually speaking that gaudiya in the gaudiya mat that actual treasure is there that infinity per time you can uh, take that but still you cannot uh, finish that but 
but this is the actual uh, thing of maya devi that uh, nobody wants to come and read gorya darshan gorya vedant may be reading one two persons are there only but maybe shri shri balde vidyabhushan that is the top most they also have just accepted this so they are mayavadi but they know that balde vidyabhushan that vedant up to, apart from this no one is there maybe ramanujar is there nobody's vedant is there top most and balde vidyabhushan but what to do that in order to just run one course we need to one one and a half to two lakh rupees we have to give but no one actually is there to just read that <laughs> nobody actually used to read that so what to do everybody is there in fighting that gorya mat everyone is in just fighting mode someone actually just fighting with each other and just want to murder him that's it all this going on in mat what is the condition of the mat now what is going on if someone actually doing some good then you just need to kill him just need to destroy him if some actually speaking uh, nice hari katha you just need to destroy him that is the actual condition nowadays this is the thing what to do so they are actually they what is good and what is bad they are actually this kind of uh, thing is not at all they are to speak that the, at least this is not good so they will be not speaking bad this kind of uh, courage also they don't have to speak so what to do where to go so what is the actual uh, vichar of mahamaya we don't know and uh, uh, we will be doing more vichar tomorrow up till this point we will be just giving rest up till this point today and i am very much uh, uh, afraid and very much sad because my my mouth uh, my vocal cords are not working properly but still i can't uh, uh, but i can't stop the hari katha today i'll be just uh, uh finishing up to this point just uh, forgive me bacho vegam manasah krodh vegam jiv bhavegam udarpast vegam etan vegano yo vishu hetu dhiraha sarma apimam pitvim sha shishvat vanchak kalpaturvasya ke pasindu bhavacho patitanam pavane bho vishnu bhyo namo namah